Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, honest question, what has happened to footies? Yesterday, EA delivered one of the most overpriced and ridiculous pieces of content I think I've ever seen. Feels like EA has lost the plot with footies and it goes completely against what this promo has always been and what the end game of Ultimate Team is always about this doesn't feel like footies this isn't footies right on top of that the 84 times 10 well we got to talk about that as well but today is sunday so maybe there's something else that could lift our spirits coming today we'll discuss that and more in today's video if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you are new now let's go to the content that's not making waves from yesterday's release the piece of content yesterday in evolutions which was the footies premium upgrade just to cover this really quick this actually isn't too bad of an evolution, to be honest. You get a plus one pace, plus two shooting, two passing, two dribbling, and one physical boost on an already really high rated card from a footies evolution item. I've got this 94 Shroomani. He's the only thing in my club that fits, and he gets a little bit more overpowered because he's 94 rated. And the best part about this is it actually doesn't increase your overall rating, which is kind of cool. It stays the exact same. So, for me, this one doesn't do a whole lot. It's just kind of nice that it's there. And it's, of course, a little bit annoying that you have to play champs or rivals matches just for a simple plus one and plus two in some of those stat categories. But you're probably doing it for some pretty meta cards. I think there are some nice combinations that have opened up. This Di Natale looks better than the Di Natale that I'm doing right now that maybe a lot of you guys did because he goes to 99 shooting, 99 passing. And he's 5 star, 5 star. The Dina Tally that I was going to do was unfortunately not that good enough. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to evolve. I don't think I'm going to be available, able to evolve my other Dina Tally. But that's a pretty crazy evo that's going on there. There's some other ones that are pretty decent. You know, Winter Wild Cards, Hullet, people are still wanting to do that. But most of these evos... It's probably something, at least for this one, that you've already got in your club that you're just going to be chucking into it to get that extra ratings boost. So that is what is going on there with Evolutions. Not a whole lot, but it's worth noting, and it was a piece of content. Now, let's go to the SBCs where it gets spicy. We'll start off once again with the SBC that really isn't making too many waves, and that is the brand new SBC for Minamino monaco card 97 passing 96 dribbling and 97 pace he is five star five star and he is really really cheap it's kind of like malcolm right two pretty cheap player species on the wing back to back days Seventy thousand coins honestly what this is once again is high rated fodder for ginola or for that crazy overpriced mia ham if you're doing either of those two sbc so not a whole lot to talk about there but at least that one is cheap now let's get to the big problem big piece of content that is our first 99 rated SBC card. Like, let's be honest. 99 rated Mia Ham. The first 99. We've had Eto, who is 98. We've had Ginola, who is 98. And here we are with a 99 rated Mia Ham SBC. And the card looks unbelievable. 99 shooting, 97 dribbling, 97 pace. Incredible playstyle pluses. Five star, five star. Ham 9. She's a cracked in game. Unbelievable card. I love the positions. You can play right wing, cam, center, forward, striker. Stats look amazing. Play styles, we could have added a couple of more, but, you know, amazing. And her card is always, always, always super overpowered. But then you look at the requirements. 30 squads, but it's not about the number 30. It's about the number 93. Because you look in here, you've got the usual bronze. you got the silver. And you've got the 85 rated squad for the loan. And then after that, you have 27 93 rated squads. Like, I get that this Mia Ham is 99 rated. I get that the card looks insane. I get that she is one of the most overpowered cards in the game already from a base icon perspective as a striker in this game. But this SBC price and just the way that it's formatted, it blew my mind yesterday when I looked into this. I was like... 30 squads, oh boy, we're probably going to start with kind of like how we did with Eto with 86s and 87s and then work up to 93, right? No, not at all. You've got 27 of the 93 rated squads, which does not make sense at all because this card to me, guys, would not be the price that it is via SBC on the market. She is 4.2 million coins via this SBC craft. And I think if this car was on the market, I mean, let's just take a look at the footies team for a quick example. Where's our footies team at? Right here. 
Uh, this Alex Morgan card actually just bounced up a bunch in value. She's not at 4 million. She was just down to 2.7. This card has the exact same playstyle pluses and pretty similar stats to Mia Hamm. And she is 2 million coins. 2.7, 2.8 is what she just was. She just had a rarity spike back up to 3.1. So uh, Drogba's 2 million coins. Um, Sawa's 2.5 mil. You know, we've had so many insane attackers in this end game. But this Mia Ham is 4.2 million coins to complete. That is, it's wild. I get it. The price is really just dumb. It's kind of disgusting. Like, why is this SBC requiring this much at this stage of the game when it's supposed to be fun footies? Enjoy the end game with the crazy high rated cards. Yes. And you would think, right? You would think that with this price, there'd be an unlimited grind. Because remember, when we had the Ronaldinho SBC, he was 33 squads, and he was 6 million right away. But soon after that, EA dropped the unlimited grind that made the SBC get really cheap, and then it was so easy to do, right? We don't have that with this Mia Ham because the second biggest part of the whole equation of content on this game right now that is very disappointing is the fact that the 84 times 10 is still limited 7 times per day. Seven. We go from three to five to five again to seven with a Ginola and Eto and now a Mia Ham that are very expensive and you need an unlimited 84 times 10 to truly enjoy it in an end game fashion. We are still limited by the sense of the 84 times 10. If Mia Ham was this expensive and this SBC was unlimited, I would I think we would still be disappointed and we would not like it. But we could say, all right, you can go do 84 times 10s endlessly and probably get the Mia Ham done in a lot less time. 85 times 10, three times per day. That's an improvement. We take those, right? But why is this not unlimited repeatable? Like with the price of these SBCs, those SBCs, these upgrades, need to be unlimited repeatable 100%. And I know it's actually an improvement, guys. We had the 85 10 once a day. We had the 84 times 10 five times a day. It's an improvement on what we had. But it's August 11th. It is August 11th, and we are still asking for an unlimited repeatable 84 times 10, whereas last year we had it by this time, and we had bigger and better SBCs. It's just very, honestly, it just feels like footies is losing it man it feels like ea is losing the whole point of what this footies promo is meant to be like let us go crazy are they worried again about us having too high rated of cards that are going to be too overpowered it's that we don't want to play for the last month of the game there's a month left of this game max and for a lot of people there's even less than that right like this is when you let it all out and let us go crazy and enjoy like you let us did last year like that's why i'm so confused because last year they did man last year we had unlimited 84 times tens at this time we had 85 times tens starting to become more repeatable we had multiple different icon player picks there was a 90 plus and a 93 plus and we do have a good amount of player picks and upgrade packs this year with like the 92 plus the 94 some of that stuff is good it's the player species though right it's the same stuff we've been talking about for two weeks now it is these sorts of spcs that we want but instead we're getting a four million coin this mia ham here's the thing too that's different about ronaldinho and mia ham this card started off at six million coins and then dropped down to two mil because when fodder became unlimited right it tanks and that's what happened this last weekend right well, this Mia Ham is not going to drop down from 4 million coins because Todd's cards are 15k and all of your high rated fodder is already dirt cheap anyway. How much are 96s? 95s are 20k, 94s are 16k. These really can't go too much lower. So what is Mia Ham's price going to do? Stay around 4 million coins. Maybe it drops to 3.7, 3.8 whoopty freaking do it's 30 squads 27 93 rated squads honestly this is that might be let's go back and look at this Ronaldinho really quick because how many 93 rated squads were in Ronaldinho? uh none 92 92 92 wow like this is i think we can label this as the craziest spc ea have ever released in terms for the audacity to release this high rated of spc requirement Yes, there's a batch of cards that is in packs that is, you know, honestly pretty good and it's fun and it's fun to open the packs right now, but it's it's just disgusting, man. For this card, for that price in this stage of the game, guys, footies has, it's just not the same anymore, man. Ever since EA started putting footies cards in packs, which was last year, footies took on a whole new sort of role and a whole new sort of vibe that's just making the promo worse. I'll be completely honest because gone are the days where we were in control of footies. Remember when we controlled footies, guys? And we had the votes and we would 
sit there and say, ooh, there's an SBC today, or there's three SBCs, or there's a player pick that I have to choose, and I have to choose one of the three players that I want to get a footies winner card for, and it felt like we were in control of the end game content that EA was going to be releasing. Yeah, we still had old re-release special cards back into packs, and that made opening packs fun. That's like the only consistent thing from footies that has moved forward that has been really, really good. I miss this, man. I miss this, the voting via the SBCs, the voting via the player picks every single day or every couple days you'd have a vote. That was so fun. It felt like we were in control of the content a bit and it kind of left the destiny of the end game content up to us. So we enjoyed that. The stat, like, I mean, stats then versus now, way different. Look, a 93 rated Chiellini only had 79 pace back in, uh, what is this, like FIFA 21 or 22, or whatever, the, whatever year this is. Like, that's crazy. Times are different now. Stats would be way better. But we missed the voting. I think that's one thing that they need to bring back for footies. It needs to come back. Also, this was one thing that I was reminded of that used to be a part of footies that was really fun. Remember this Arhen Robin? This Robin was basically like a footies version of this Arhen Robin flashback that was out earlier on in the year in FIFA 21 that was crazy. Bring this back, like a footies card that is boosted up with the same, kind of like around the same vibe that a card had earlier on in the year. An insane card earlier on in FC24, repurposed and now usable in the end game with a big stat boost and a skill move and weak foot boost, kind of like taking a OP meta card from earlier on in the year and bring it up to speed as kind of another fun way to get SBCs involved in a different way in the end game. I kind of missed that as well. I think that happened a couple times uh, during the older footies as well. But really, it's just become another promo, guys. It's become another promo with some of the perks that it had before. But again, the cards and packs has really just ruined it, man, because these, these cards as well are virtually unpackable. Like, I could probably tell you I can't even tell you. I mean, any card that I've packed in footies that is worth more than like 100,000 coins, to be completely honest. Like if I go look at my main team, all the cards that I've packed from footies are just, they're just fodder cards, man. From team one, two, three, and now four. Um, Ribbery I got from an icon pick, so that doesn't technically count in my opinion. I didn't pack him from doing, you know, 84 times tens. Uh, you know, Abedi Pele, 72,000 coins. I didn't pack best. I know some people did, and you got some good pulls. But like majority of us have not packed most of these cards, and we don't have them in our, in our sides. And uh, they've just been so difficult to get. It's been super annoying. It's just lost its charm. Footies has lost its charm. It's lost the hype of the end game crazy mode because there's still end game craziness, right? I wish I could open packs. I didn't open any packs yesterday. I still have these cards in my unassigned. I'm going to start the Mia Ham SBC pretty soon. And that's why I held on to these cards. Um, yes, I, I am saying I'm going to do Mia Ham because I promised that I would. And also, I mean, it is craftable. I, you know what? This does give me something to do right now in this game to craft and to chase for. And I've been looking for an SBC personally that I've wanted to do. And this does it for me. Mia Ham is a player that I want to do. And with the end game grind being here, sort of, halfway, limited, but here, I'm still going to attempt it. It's probably going to take me a while. 85 tens, 84 tens, 93 rated squads. You need like 95s and 96s with a bunch of other 90s to get it done. So like I'm going to attempt it. I'm curious to see how long it takes. I also tweeted out a challenge to Zwayback if he wants to race me to complete this, uh, this ham SBC. But like... The end game grind and craft is still a little bit here, but it's just changed completely differently from the way footies was before. And that's kind of the video that uh, the point of the video today is honestly, I'm just saddened by footies changing um, and going more so like a random other promo, like any other promo that we'd have in this game that we've had for months and months and months throughout the year. Footies is just losing some of its charm. Like I said, it still has some of the things that are great that are different about it but it is losing some of its charm for sure. Now, this year, too, we have the unlimited player picks and the unlimited exchanges, right? With the 82-plus pick or 81-plus every single week. And does this have a factor in why EA is not releasing unlimited 84 times 10s? Maybe, but that's the whole point of the 84 10s being unlimited. Would I do exchanges with that? I wouldn't necessarily do exchanges then because what would I do with high rated duplicates? I would literally just put them right back into an 84 times 10, which is the grind that we had last year, which we all enjoyed, right? So I don't think we would even really care about the exchanges if the 8410 was unlimited because we just go straight back into this and get the guaranteed high rated cards that we're all looking for uh, to go do the player SBCs. So that's kind of my thought on that. I mean, 
ah, man, it's just, it's a bummer. It really, really is. Now, and I hate being negative and I hate being like, man, this, this sucks, but it does. Like taking a step back and talking about it and looking at it, it really does, man. So I'm hoping that there's some things that can still continue to get better about footies. We know there's room for improvement. We know there's still floodgates to be open for the crazy footies content for us to be had. But again, EA is just still holding it back and gatekeeping. And that needs to stop. We thought it was going to stop yesterday, but evidently it is not. So while we talk more about that a little bit later, I do want to do a quick check in on some things that relate to what is going on in this game right now, especially related to TOTS cards. TOTS cards are still 15,000 coins, but they weren't for the entire day yesterday because if you take a look at some graphs, they actually had some movements. And I'm showing you two graphs today. Take a look at Laco. He was 15, 14,000 coins last night. Todd's cards were all, I believe, right around 20,000 coins. They did have a bit of a spike. So if you bought them last night and traded them yesterday, that was a good investment. One thing I noticed looking up Dewsbury Hall, our daily uh, check of his price, right? He was down at 16K. He went to 28,000 coins. If you're trying to make any coins right now on Todd's cards still, buy the Todd's cards that are not re-released into this batch three because they are more rare and they're going to fluctuate more because they are not in packs, but people will still be buying them as they are just random team of the season cards. People will sell, uh, people will buy them, even if they're inflated prices based off what the rest of Todd's cards are at. That is something to watch out for. Do a little bit of digging and uh, Dewsbury Hall has been our like staple of Todd's card prices for the last couple of weeks, but find somebody else who's not re-released in packs as a cheaper but kind of higher rated tots card and then uh trade with them so that's kind of an easy way you can go about that the rest of the fodder market pretty unmoved 84 is minimum 85 is still minimum basically everything is still minimum except for 88 rated and i would imagine that that's going to stay about the same let me just double check did 85s move at all yesterday david alaba 2.2k to 2.9 they're back down to 2 2 2 3 so sure get on bids for 85s if you really want to try to make a few coins there and speaking of prices dropping yes of course these cards are dropping as well sawa 2.4 she was 3.4 yesterday all the way up here 3.8 million coins and been dropping down all day long these cards should continue to drop as well the 83 times 100 pack was added to the store that is the best store pack at the moment but I don't want to open a store pack at the moment when, like, what am I going to be crafting besides the Mia Ham? There's no unlimited 84 times 10 once again that I was hoping to be able to craft into. That is not there. So for me, a store pack right now, yes, if you have a lot of coins, sure, it's fun because that's maybe one of your best chances to pack one of these footies cards like a footies icon or maybe hit a high chance of getting a messy higher chance at least but still it doesn't feel worth it with the SBC craft and the cards that are out in other places on the game so that's kind of the whole market sense that i'm getting right now these cards are still going to drop especially all the re-release cards too it is bonkers to look at these prices though guys this is my favorite part about footies right now this dino was 13 mil He's now 4 million coins, under 5 mil. Hullet's 4 mil. Uh, Zidane's 1.4. R9's on the market. He's under 10 mil. Thierry Henry's below a million coins. We look at the team of tournament cards. Mbappe's 6 million. Uh, Conte's 100K. Musiala, who is 1.3, 1.4, is 500,000 coins. Bellingham's down 2 mil. Teo Hernandez is 1.7? He was three seven. He was four point seven million coins on Thursday. He's down three million coins. I love this, right? This is a part of footies that we do like still with the re-releases. It brings a lot of card prices down. And if you have coins left over, go and buy the cards, enjoy them, use them. They're still going to drop lower in price. That's what we keep saying. This Messi is probably still going to go lower. Yesterday, he was like 4.5 mil. Today, he's 3.5, 3.6. He's probably going to go lower. He's in packs for two weeks. Buy the endgame cards that you want to use. Don't delay. Just use them. Enjoy the card. The coins mean way less now than they did even like a couple weeks ago, right? That's my thought there. But let's talk about Saturday content today. Sorry, Sunday content. We already had Saturday yesterday. We want to stay, we want to take a step up. We want to stay away from Saturday content and bring in completely new vibes today. Now, one thing about the content today on Sunday that I do want to touch on is this icon pick. Sundays are always about icon picks, right? They're probably just going to add in team four, right? Of the icons that are in packs right now, that would give you a chance at packing Sawa, Kapita, and Drogba, which isn't bad, honestly, for an icon player pick. It's not terrible. But there's one thing that I think EA might do and one other thing that I think EA need to do. The first thing I think EA might do is they might change the rating to a 94 plus. And I just had to go and check. 
how many cards would that erase if it was a 94 plus instead of 93 plus? It would literally just erase Zambrata and Hugo Sanchez. That's it. So if this goes from a 93 plus 103 to a 94 plus 103, that literally changes nothing. But I could see them doing that. Uh, they'll probably add team four in of footies. Here's what they need to do, though. They need just release the same player pick. Don't even make it 90, 94 plus. Just keep it 93 plus. Add footies team four, but make it a one of four. Why do we still have one of three player picks being the most common player pick choice in the late stages of this game, whereas last year and in previous years, we had one of fives as the most common, right? Even our 82 plus player picks, like hopefully on Monday, we get an 81 plus player pick. It's a one of five and it's just 11 gold commons to turn in because that's where we should be at at this late stage of the game. Even with some of our upgrade packs and gamble packs, we're still at one of three for this 92 plus. For the icon pack, we're at one of three as well. We need some one of fours. We need some one of fives to start stepping up to the plate because that's some end game content that we need to be seeing as well. So I would expect another icon pick today. It'll be craftable, of course, with the 84 and 85 times tens. If you want to give it a shot to pack, you know, the Dino, maybe a footies icon as well absolutely go for it now I, I do expect that we get another player spc today too and hey it's another chance honestly ea another chance at redemption here today we've had ginola we've had mia ham ginola honestly to me looks better value than mia ham or definitely looks better value than mia ham really met a card for him here too let's get a non-hero non-icon player spc today that's a banger i'm talking a 98 i'm talking a 99 for a big name player that people would actually want to craft that would be a decent price that wouldn't be so out of this world like mia ham that it makes everybody not want to do the spc right if it's another 99 rated player that'd be great could it be a 98 and still be a good card if it's the right one I would say yes as well, but there's no leaks at the moment. There's probably going to be every single day. The player SBCs are leaked. So I'll be looking forward to Twitter today to see who we get there. There's going to be something in my opinion. Last thing to, to watch out for today as well would be probably evolution. I think we get the evolutions on Friday, Saturdays and Sundays. So maybe something else coming up in this business as well. I mean, the footies, what is it? That footies bronze glow up is uh, going to be expiring tomorrow. So maybe there's some other sort of evolution that will be replacing this. But yeah, guys, yesterday was honestly like, you know, this is by my standards, kind of a rant video for sure. Uh, but man, I was genuinely, I think my jaw hit the floor when I saw the content drop yesterday. And firstly, I saw the 84 times 10 was not unlimited repeatable. And then I saw the 93 rated squads for Mia Ham. Literally, my jaw hit the floor. I was just shocked. And I was just like, this is August. Let the people have fun. Let us have fun. Let it go crazy for a month. Because honestly, that's what keeps us wanting to come back to footies is remembering the crazy. Last year, the end game was crazy. After a few weeks where the content was dry. But it doesn't even seem like we're going to get to that crazy end game content. It just like we're taking one half step at a time instead of getting to where we actually need to be in the content with this game. So that's going to be the end of the video for me today, guys. I don't want to keep yapping and, and ranting and crying about this content because it is still fun on the menus at the moment with the re-release of the cards, with the upgrade packs, with so much going on. It is still footies content that is still end game and it is fun. But we just need a little bit more and some things done a little bit differently and this could be so much better but that's going to be the video for me today guys if you did enjoy drop a thumbs up on a comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new it's been nathan for the account see you guys in a video tomorrow peace out